Alright, so I'm showing you the tour of the new home. This is Joe, talking to everyone out there. Uh, I'm showing you exactly what we got going on at the new house. Here's our two parking spaces, which lead up to our walkway, up to the new house. As you can see right here. You can kind of see out on the neighborhood here. So we go in, we have some work to do, for example, you can see there's some wood rot there, which I'm going to be repairing. We're going to be re completely refinishing this door because we just don't think it's been done very good. You can see there, they didn't even mask anything off. But, here we go. Look who's already here. So you walk in the front door. Here's the front door here. And there's immediately the stairs. And there's a downstair to go down to this area. And there's a big mirror here, which makes it seem much more open. And there's Rigel, who's loving it. Okay, so this space is sort of strange. There's these kind of neat wooden doors here. Okay, they're, who knows what they're for. This is set up kind of right now as a closet, but we're probably gonna tear all this out. Our, uh, our air handler is in here, but I'm not gonna open it because this door's not very good. You can see it's all laminate hardwood floors. There's actually a water line that comes through right there. So there's a chance that this is gonna be a bar or this is gonna be a bar. We're not really sure, but there's a water line that comes through right there. So anyway, like I said, so here's the front entry. You come in, you go down the stairs, and it opens up into this big room here. And this is gonna be our sort of entertainment dude center room. Um, you know, we can make noise down here and you won't bother the people on the top floors. There's a little back hallway down here. There's Rigel, a little back hallway. So there's a little storage area here. We may reconfigure a bathroom. This is our uh, laundry room little laundry utility room going on. Um, I'm actually gonna put a shelf on top of this and we're gonna do some things to the walls in here, but these are our brand nice new washer and dryer, which are very nice. So, come on, all right, let's go. This is gonna be my office down here on the bottom floor. Um, it's this atrocious blue right now, which is gonna become white. Um, we are using this right now as our bedroom, of course. There's Rigel. What do you think about this? It's kind of funny. Now this this window opens up into a well, which you can see it's just sort of a storm runoff well. So that's perfect for me because you know I, I like it kind of being dark little cave. This is a little smaller than my current office, so I'm gonna have to trim my big desk. But for the most part, this is gonna work. This is the bathroom down here. Actually, I think this is the nicest bathroom in the house. It's got the biggest sink and the biggest little mirror thing here. Here's the tub. One day we're gonna be replacing this tile because it's gross. Um, but this is this is Rigel's tub right now, right? Yep, that's right, just up. So, and then that's the little hose attachment there that attaches to this thing. You can see Jen went swimming last night. We just pop it in there, and then this works. Because this is a drop ceiling, we couldn't really put a, a nice thing that had a hose attached to it. So, for him, he would just like sitting in the cool tub. Look at him. How many dogs do you know like to go sit in the tub all day? But anyway, he's good. All right, right, let's go show him upstairs. All right, so you leave the entertainment area. These stairs have not been decarpeted yet. This this house is very much a work in progress right now. So you go upstairs. We hate this carpet. Now here's, just to show you, when you get to the top of the stairs, there's a little hallway. But then there's also the big open living room, dining room kind of thing. Dad, this is what I was telling you about. Where there's a million switches and some of them don't do anything. So anyway. Um, so this is the, the living room. Jen has got a whole paint scheme in mind, which she'll be doing. Um, here's where the dining area is. Uh, we're gonna just have some couches and seating up here. You can see I have it blocked off right now, but there's the French doors, which both open, and then there's a third panel, which has a doggy door built in. And so I actually need to put one in that's his size, because that's too big for him and someone can get in, but we'll, uh, we'll be making that work. So you can see this backs up into the kitchen. And here is our nice fridge. Oh, mom and dad, the ice maker is now working. Oh, dad, here's what I was going to show you. So this switch here turns on the light, turns off the light, okay? Now, the switch over here is off. And you go over here, switch does nothing, right? So we go back over here, and you flip the switch to on, okay? Now, this switch does something. This switch is tied to the other switch, right? Anyway, this is our kitchen. The cooktop had some stuff on it. Jen is trying to get off, so I guess that's soaking, but you can see, Mom, our nice blue counters, which we'll see if we keep. 
but you know it's low on the priority list. We are going to put in a hood microwave here, so that's going to be neat. And uh, it's pretty much the kitchen. So you come out this door to the kitchen. Here's the pantry, which is my project for the day. Here's the giant pile of carpet stuff, which we'll be showing you later. We have it blocked off so Rigel can't go in there. And in that little hallway, here's the little half bath. This room, I'm going to decimate and rebuild because it's just ugly. Um, they got old sink and the nasty countertops and you know, it's just ugly in here. So I'm going to probably put a built-in thing in here. There's a little cabinet space under it, but that's for another day. So. As everyone knows, we're replacing the carpet in the house. Um, you can see I've done a lot of work to be pulling carpet out, but I wanted to show, I explained this to Dad, and I kind of want to show, um, right here, you can see the front of the stair sticks up further than the edge of the stair, so they're all bent a little bit, and a lot of them have these cracks right here where the nail is. Um, this one here being the worst one, you can see when you step on it, you know, they, they squeak a lot. And actually, you know, there's there's some wood damage to the stairs. Not that big, but you know, it, it, we're debating whether or not to replace some of the wood or not. But for now, we're just pulling out all the carpeting. So anyway, let's go up there. Rigel can't go because there's staples everywhere. So up we go to the third floor. You can hear the creakiness. So I've already ripped out everything up here. Shut this on. Rigel, you can't come up here. So, let's see, you get to the top of the stairs here. That way, Rigel, poor Rigel is desperate to come up here. See him there? He may find his way, but anyway. Two bedrooms back here. One of these will be an office, one of them will be a guest room. Uh, I think this is gonna be the guest room, okay? Little linen closet there. This is gonna be Jen's office, okay? In the closet in there. All the closets are gonna get reconfigured and such. We're actually going to replace these doors. For 30 bucks, they sell six panel hollow core doors, and these have cat doors in them, and the stops have all poked through and stuff, so we're just going to replace these doors completely. We have, we're going to drill down some of the subflooring up here, too. Here's the bathroom, same ugly green tile. Oh, the other thing is they did a lot of kind of crappy repairs to the drywall, which I'm going to redo. Here's the master. So you walk in, pretty big master. Clearly all the carpets in here. Look at this closet. This closet goes the whole way across. That's Rigel concerned that I'm not here. But you can see, we're actually gonna put little shelves like that on the stairs so that you can store shoes there. Here's the master bath. The master bath has this ugly tub which is gonna go. We're gonna get rid of this tub, put it in a nice tub. And of course there's the tile, but the tile will happen later. Here's the mirror. See, we're losing some bathroom space over the current house, but it's okay because the master bedroom is a lot bigger, so we'll be able to put some sort of piece of furniture out here. Let's go down before he wakes the universe up. There's an attic portal right here, but the air handler is actually right over the attic, so we can't put a port in. So, downstairs we go. You woke up all the neighborhood, son. Let's go this way. Okay. No barking. Rigel, you gotta be nice. Be, Rigel, Rigel, be nice. Oops. I think we just met the neighbor dog. Come here, let's go inside. Let's go inside. Go inside. Oops. Go inside. Go. Go. Hey, hey, hey. Go inside. Oh, no, it's okay. <laughs> Rigel. Rigel. Let's go inside. There's Rigel waking up the whole neighborhood. So he has neighbor dogs that I'm sure he's going to become friends with. I found this outside, and since Jen was painting, my suspicion is someone stole it last night when his doggy door was open and brought it out. So that's kind of fun. All right, anyway, back to what we were doing originally, the tour. You walk out in the backyard, and this is the yard. Okay, there's Rigel pooping in the yard, that's exciting. We're gonna have a little table and chairs kind of thing here. The shed is gonna go right here. It's just gonna back right up and it fits on the brick space. And the grill is gonna go right here. You can see the little windows down to my area, down there. And then he's got all this space here, which is great. But in addition to the, all that space, there's all this. Well, 
I think I'm at the end of my video, so bye.